those houses right there. That's the sandbar. So we just got to our next destination and it's the sandbar right behind me. You can see these houses, so they're, they're, they're built onto the sandbar, but they have these beams that hold them up uh, higher when the tide goes up. So it's not quite low tide just yet, So, but you can still stand on the sand and you'll, you'll just be above the water. These houses, they're actually quite nice. The, I think they're fully furnished, maybe. Uh, I can see curtains uh, on the windows. So they're definitely a nice place to stay in uh, during the day. Bucket of oysters, and I'm just gonna try it now. Fresh. Mm. <laughs> so good, really fresh. Uh, put it in one of those shells, then put the vinegar on it. Okay, like that. Make sure you bite the chili. Wow. Wait, how many What are you gonna do? Mm. Use your move, Alex. Use your move. Very crunchy. Now I'm gonna show you underneath the, these houses, floating houses over here. Okay. Yeah. But the still alive! It's going down. Oh. Oh. It's your turn. Oh. What are you gonna do? Water So there's a total of, of five houses, including the one that is still being built. It's actually nice to stay underneath them because then you get a shade. And you don't have to worry about the, the sun. So I'm under one now. Apparently, one this one cost will cost you about maybe a hundred US dollars uh, a night. So this one. So we're underneath one now. Where's the rate slide? So the rates are posted at the front. How much is that? So during the day, it's only it's about seventy-five uh us dollars and overnight it's a hundred us dollars the others are over there uh there's about four more over there and yeah one is just still being built or maybe it got destroyed somehow so everyone's just everyone's just finding their spot where they want to swim around and seems like 
we have this house for ourselves. So yeah, just staying underneath the house and the water right now is about waist deep. And yeah, it seems pretty sturdy. I don't know how they go about with the toilet in there. Uh, doesn't seem to be any drainage going down to the ocean, the sea or the ocean. So yeah, it's really good. Just forgot I just wet my hands with the seawater. Now I can't use it to hold the camera. I'm just gonna go back now, put the camera back and enjoy the water while we're here. Baby Kina is still awake. We had lots of fun. Alex really enjoyed swimming uh, with her floaters on. Uh, we're actually surprised that she was able to uh, just go on her own in, really, uh, in waters that she can't even stand on. So that's really a really good achievement for her. We're very happy and hopefully we can go swimming again soon. But for now, we're just gonna head home. <laughs> <laughs>